I got a question. Why I couldn't hear anything. Look, no one can hear me. One hundred percent, big bro. <laughs> That's all. She just wasn't paying attention. No, okay. All right. <laughs> Mo said her. Did you feel the yeah. same way before this happened? Before what happened? Before life. Before how everything is right now. I'm a little bit confused by the huh? question. Did you feel like the man that you was before you started getting into the environment that you went right now? Are you asking if we all have not you, not you, not you, not you, not you, not you. I'm yeah, talking about him. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> in, the, in the past few years. Like, like show, because I look at you like a big brother time. and I don't yeah. even know you for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just trying did to understand do, your question. Like, did I, did, like, what, what is your, like, just so I know. Did you feel as much of alpha male before as how you feel right now? Well, I mean, I would I would consider yeah I would have considered myself like the, the alpha male I mean I would just say uh, I mean were, is your question I seen, if, I, I seen from the beginning and everything like I watched all that shit like with all the twist shit and everybody yeah I mean the thing is I I've just I, obviously I've as I talk to more women I just realize certain traits right and characteristics yeah. right but I, I mean. It, yeah, you get older, you get wiser, right? Yeah. You just start to realize certain things and learn certain things. Then you obviously get around other like-minded individuals and you learn things from them. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, there's this culmination of experience, uh, you know, reading, seeing how the world really works, talking to women every day. You kind of see things, you know, no offense to you guys, but you guys, a lot of you guys lack critical thinking skills. Like, yeah. I've said things that are objectively true and you guys look at me like I'm crazy, right? Whereas, like, if I said something along the lines of most guys are bombs and idiots and incompetent fucks, they're not going to look at me wild. They're going to be like, yeah, he's right. But when I say something that's like, you know, might not be flattering to women, they don't like hearing that. Which because they're not connected. Yeah, very interesting. They like don't they're, understand it. Like, know? and that, that that's what I mean when I say like women lack critical thinking skills. It's like, oh, I'm offended by what you're saying, so I'm not gonna critically think and analyze what you said and be like, damn, that's actually true because I'm so offended by what you said because you're saying this about women. But it's <laughs> so like true. I say negative things about men too, but when, men never look at me and say, well, not all men. Like if I say. Most men are fat retards. They don't say, well, not all men. But if I say most women are bimbos, not all women. Like, they see the <laughs> knee-jerk reaction? Like, like they're Stay not in. able to properly assess the English language and understand, yeah. oh, he's not speaking about everybody. He's saying a, uh, a group. Okay, cool. I can understand that. But yeah. women get offended immediately because you guys, I don't know what it is, but it's very interesting to see the dynamic. Because, like, when men communicate, we're very direct and we're very overt what we say. But when you guys communicate, you guys say a bunch of bullshit and go around it. Like, when we asked you guys earlier, what does it take for you to get laid on a first date? You guys gave us a bunch of roundabout, you know, weird, tar uh, oh, the vibe. What, what's the vibe? None of like, you guys I, can even I describe like it. It's, I feel like it's categories, I, everybody, though. Like, my fault. I feel like sure. it's categories of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, how long you been in Miami? I've been here since 2018. That's a long ass time. <laughs> you feel me? So you're used to this then. A lot of people are from places that are unknown to deal with any yeah, of this. But I've lived in many places in the United you know, States. So I've, I've melt, dealt with people from different walks of life and yeah. spoken to different types of people. Yeah. But, you know, there's... You just got to grow. Like, overarching... I just wanted to know where truth. you was feeling like, like, you know, how did you turn into... From experience, the joint that you is right now. Yeah, uh, experiences. Then, uh, like my background. Give us too. a life story, a quick, a quick life story. Uh, yeah, can you give us a life a story? Quick life story. Story. I play with him. A quick one. A yeah, quick one. Can we play. understand yeah. you too? Like everybody in this motherfucker really want to know because we don't really pay attention to a lot of shit on the internet, even though we do. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to know this. Oh, okay. Nah, man. I mean, quick one, quick uh, one. I went to college in Boston. Uh, I was a federal agent for ten oh, years. Oh, you from Boston? Uh, yeah. I'm no, no. I went to college are. there. Oh, the college from? there. Boston oh, University. Oh my god. No, no. no. I I'm from Connecticut originally. No. Oh, I'm from oh, New York. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Let's stop it right there. What part of uh, Connecticut? I grew up in New Britain, Connecticut. Oh, my whole wow. family is from New Haven. Oh shit! Yeah, man, that's right down the that's street. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a couple of properties in West Haven, a couple of New Haven too. That's what's up. It's coming. It's up and coming. Yellow saving it. But um, yeah, I grew up in Connecticut, and then I, I was a uh, I worked mm -hmm. as a special agent homeland for a while, and then did start doing podcasts. And then like my law enforcement career also like helped me look at things like mm -hmm. a lot differently, you know. So looking at things objectively, and like listening to people when they say things. That's why I listen very closely to whatever you guys say and write shit down because I'm like, oh, that doesn't make sense. I'll ask them about that later. So, do you like have that. sisters or is your relationship with your mother close? Yeah, yeah, man. My mom is the one that told me about the female fuckery. <laughs> so, you, do you have sisters? She was like, these girls. <laughs> she no, one thing screen. the mother is definitely yep. going to protect her son because yeah, I, I have a son myself. I have a sister and I had a very honest discussion and with her. And let a bitch play with him. So, funny, like, my sister's a doctor out in Colorado, actually. 
And I had a discussion yeah. with her when she was like in her late 20s and I told her, yo, you need to find a man while you still can because when you become older and you make more money, you're not going to be able to find the same level of man. Like, you need to fucking find a guy now. You need to drop this fucking... In the, she was like you, very hard-headed, strong, independent, like down that type of shit. I'm not and hard-headed. I was, I was agreeing with things you said. I would just give my opinion after. I didn't discredit you at all, my no, man. No, no, it's... It's, it's I, not I, a personal it's thing right here. It's, but when I'm, she was on oh, that I'm independent sorry. vibe just like you. Yeah. And, and I was like, I was like, yo, you got to cut that shit. Like, men don't give... A, we don't like that shit. It's annoying. It's stupid. I'm not like, doing it to fuck. find a man. I just like being self-sufficient. You know, and if, and if a man comes along and he sees like, damn, this really, this woman really handling her shit. I, I fuck with that. They get then, intimidated by that baby. Then that's fine. I'm, no, you can't be intimidated, intimidated by a boss. It's not, nah. it's not intimidated. It's annoying. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's annoying to see a self-sufficient woman. woman okay, how about this? How about this? Needy no, or how about this? Let me give you guys a fucking example mm -hmm. of this, all right? Because you guys, like, women like to say this dumb shit. It's intimidating. How about this? Let's say every time before we're together in a relationship, right? Okay. You two, right? Okay. Hypothetically. I'm in a relationship, right? <laughs> we're, we're obviously, independently. Not both of you at the same time. But I'm, I'm just saying hypothetically. Like that, no. So let's say I'm in a relationship with you, right? But it takes you an hour to get dressed. I take two hours to get dressed. You like to wear certain shoes. I one-up you every I single time. And I make sure. Man. Hold on, hold on. I one-up you every single time, and I make sure I wear better shoes than you do. You get dressed and you wear a nice dress, I make sure I get clothes that's more expensive. Mm -hmm. I take more time to go shopping than you do. I just make sure that I always look more on point than you do physically when we I go like out. I like that. I ain't gonna no, lie. I, I like, like that. Like that hold on, hold on. That How long would you tolerate that until you say, God damn, this nigga's a bitch? Oh, not yeah, at all. No, no. Here's How about thing. he got that shit on? Here's the thing, because I, I, no, I, I agree with you on that one. No. I ain't gonna lie, I agree don't, with you on don't that one. Okay, so I would like that, Hold on, hold on, besides you two. Because yeah. you guys obviously have a, a stake in trying to say that you would agree. No, How many of you would be annoyed fly. by that? Because okay. my man's more fly than like... me. How many of you would be annoyed by that? That I'm always trying I, to one-up you I and look better than you when we're going out. When you're the female. That's not love. That's not yeah, love. Yeah, that's weird. How many of you would be annoyed by that? Yeah. I okay. Because you're, you're, you're trying to be love. weird. Personally, you're being, you're being like trying to one-up me, then it's different. Mexico's not even on the same podcast. Well, I am, on. man, but I don't give a fuck. I English mean, is if you so like what you like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you want to dress fly, I want you to do that. That, 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 that yeah. always went up you and made sure to get take longer to get dressed than you and made sure that he always wore better clothes than you and if made sure that he was perfect. Yes, yes, right. When you get a manicure, he gets a manicure. When you get a pedicure, he gets a pedicure. You be okay with that? I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to get these, he's trying to do better than you. Yeah, he's trying to like look better than you at all times. So why are we in a then that would be then? a problem. But if you're just, just you know matching my competition. energy, I'm okay with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's competition. Thank you. So so. A man shouldn't be independent. Oh, wait, 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 but it's okay wait, wait, for y'all to be independent, and compete with us. No, so that's not I'm just men. taking care of you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just taking care of myself. I don't want to argue with you. It's okay. I'm not even trying to know what you got in your bank account. How am I competing when I don't know what you got in your bank account? This is what I'm trying to say. See, see, someone gets it. Yo, this is what I'm trying to say when I say women are fucking retarded. Yo. I'm keeping a thousand. Stupid. For the purpose of this argument, you don't want to agree with me. But yeah. however, if you were the fucking man and he took longer to get dressed than you, he wanted to be prettier than you, he wanted to make sure that he had to show out every single time y'all went yep. out more than you, you mm -hmm. would be fucking annoyed. You'd be like, damn, this nigga's a bitch. Like why can't you be a fucking man? So irritated, Hold on, cause stop. Why the fuck is you taking so long yeah. to get ready? Like now, if I. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're going to be so irritated because you're going to be waiting downstairs or waiting in the room. No, like, I why understand. is he taking this long? hypothetical, very small situation. We literally just like to look good. It's not that we're competing with men. I, I like to look good you know for myself. Like. No, no, no. I like to look good for my man. Um, I like to look good for the family. It's an analogy. It's that. an analogy. It's yeah, an example. So independence We're is not competition. If you're basing no, an example no. on a whole hypothesis, then you shouldn't yeah, do that. Yeah, because he said competing it's afterwards. It's, it's I don't have no problem. So you can problem. understand what he's saying. Myra, no, you want a woman to depend on you for everything? You want a woman to depend on her survival, on you, right? right. Wouldn't you like a self-sufficient woman? She pay her own bills. She pay her own car. So then why are you with somebody? I'm not with someone for money. Listen, if you want to be so super independent, why you even want to be with someone? I didn't say I was with someone for money. I'm only doing independence. I'm doing that because I I can self suffice on my own. I'm not doing it to show nobody nothing. You could just see like this woman could take care of herself. She don't need me. I don't need a man. I want one. There's a big difference. I definitely need a man. I'm so men want a woman to need them. Yeah, like y'all want us to need y'all instead of want. Please answer. I'm just asking. 
difference is what? When Myron says something. I understood him 100%. No, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something, right? No, if you understood what I said, you wouldn't be arguing right now. I simply, arguing, I simply was making an analogy Girl. that oh a man that takes a ridiculous amount of time to get ready right. is annoying and has feminine tendencies that aren't attractive. Just like a woman that wants to chase a career and say that she's independent and she's a boss, that's annoying to us. Seeing us chase our career and passion? Perfect. Yes. Tell me. No, 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 no. That does not make That's you not attractive, though. Just Bro. Chasing so our goals and but passions? Not, but you being this independent woman does it's not crazy. make you... She is more attractive than you even men, if she doesn't do nothing. Like, crazy, what do I care? She could literally men, be doing nothing no, no. and she's That's still more attractive That's the point. You don't That's care. Crazy. Exactly. Right. I, I can't you know care what, what a man thinks yeah, about me and what I'm doing with my life. That's why a man doesn't want you. I know that you know what I'm saying. Because a man don't want me? Men want. Give me both. They want women that are going to be men like to take care of you. I'm going to keep it a thousand. Yo, this is why so many people don't fuck with black women, man. I'm going to keep it th- oh, all the way a oh, million with you. Now you're show. making it no, a no, no, race thing, no, 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 because let me keep let me because you know who's the only group of women a lot of black times women, that run around women. and sit there and say I'm strong and independent blah 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 because you guys brown are fucking are you guys go ahead and you be quiet while I speak please okay because I'm gonna break this down you guys fo- follow the fucking Beyonce strong independent lady you follow the fucking dumbass whores no that sit there and tell you that, that you don't need a man you listen to uh, if you grow up in a fatherless house which a lot of black women do niggas ain't shit blah 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 the hip hop music etc it fucking indoctrinates you to think I don't need a man I don't need a man I don't need a man so you can say ridiculous things like I don't care what a man thinks what if men walked around and say you know what I don't give a fuck what bitches think I'm just gonna smell I'm not gonna make no money they I'm not gonna go to the gym bitches. I don't get care money, but no 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 no, no. But hold on hold on but getting money oh, makes that. you more attractive How, but women sit there and say oh I'm not gonna do anything to get a man I'm hose. just gonna be myself blah 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 like men don't have that mindset we understand that we have to provide something and we mm-hmm. have to be some Somewhat attractive to get women, but women sit there and say, "I don't need men. I'm strong and independent." Blah blah blah. Bruh, like it's it like crazy that, to me. It's crazy to me. And this, and you guys are like, and black women are the only group of women really that say spouse this bullshit. I see what the fuck is going on over here. Because she keeps talking about her mic that she's not capable of talking into the mic. I'm sorry. What do you, what do you mean? All right, girl, speak. All right, speak, man. Go ahead, go ahead. What the hell? Speak. She's been trying to Hello? say something and Testing. she says nobody can yeah, hear Her mic works. Enough. We can hear you. Bro. I mean, she should shut up. You're not like, saying shit, bro. Like, 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 just, like, like, just the mic is fucked, bro. Right right my nigga, like, say something, man. My nigga, you don't say shit, bro. No, you say something. No, I can't hear it. I ain't need nothing. Okay, I said that. I'm not in it. Don't hear her. Put me under the fucking. You snitch. You're trying to put me under the water, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. I can't hear myself. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Speak. Yeah. 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 All, all, all I'm saying, right now, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that. The only group of women really that like shout this independent bullshit and they do, and it's a whole mantra. You guys are brainwashed from Beyonce. Like she says, Miss Independent. Beyonce didn't tell me none of I this. I can have another you. I'm just telling you that this is what's it's spotted all over the black school. community. But y'all don't know all. that she's with Jay Z. He fucking cheated on her. What are you doing? I'm going to the restroom. Is that okay? I, I'm speaking. No, yeah, you can't. This, get this is to address okay. something that y'all were talking about. Hey, this is gangster. You have to This is for us blackies, things. girl. Sit down. This is for the blackies. You can't be racist no, no, and get no, a butt out of here. All right, let's not you make it so oh. chill. Chill. This is all love at this table. They, they are preaching. I just find it funny how it's like. I'm addressing something because you guys did that's whatever. I mean, that's I wanted to go to the restroom for the past 10 minutes. Honestly, so the, the delivery all. was wow, kind of crazy minutes? the way yeah, you came like in, but I what you said, you are right. Is it not true? You are right, it but the, the way you delivered it. Who the gives first... a fuck how I say it? If you guys don't understand what I'm saying, because I said it a million different times, I give you guys analogies. You guys don't understand. Hard headed. I don't know. I literally gave you guys an analogy that men, right? We don't want a woman that's going to sit there and try to be, I'm independent and compete with us. And I gave you an analogy where if I took not forever to get dressed, you'd be annoyed by it. And you guys like, well, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. But come on, man, keep it a thousand. If you had a dude that was being a bitch and had to get manicures when you did and had to one up you every time you got dressed, you'd be annoyed by that. But you don't want to admit that because you know it would make your argument look bad. So yeah. it's like, come on, man. Who said we're with men like that, though, Myron? What? Who said we're with men like that, though, Myron? For That's you to my use, point. Right, for you to su- use such a small That's example. My point. I know, I'm but I'm simply saying... creating an analogy to uh, tell you that independent, strong women are the same as dudes that take forever to get dressed. It's annoying. Yeah. So I'm you sorry. want a woman yep. to depend on you for her survival, and you That's want a bitch to be lazy and not to do nothing. To eat. A bitch that shuts the fuck up. Please answer. Please answer. I love how she took it to the extreme. Texting yeah. no. every day. Can I have thirty bucks? I want to get some food. I'm not saying that. What 
I am telling you, just like you would want a guy to take care of himself but not be a fucking metrosexual, there's right. levels to it, right? Yes. You're obviously taking it to the extreme. That's yeah. what I mean when I say y'all don't have critical thinking skills, no offense, but that proves my point. Exactly. There's yeah. levels to it. So just like you want a guy to take care of himself and not be a slob, I want a girl that You maybe... took it to the extreme too, though, with the getting ready. Exactly. You did. So yes. I'm taking the example. Because yeah. you guys are so dumb that I have to do it. Do that to explain it. That's yo, why. Yo, but, yo, but, yo. If, I'm not what? dumb at all. You, He's generalizing. You, you can't understand an analogy. <laughs> I gotta call it what it is, like, like. Uh, just so again, I'm not saying a girl has you to depend take on it me. You gotta take it to extremes. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that a girl has to depend on me. What I am saying is that no one gives a fuck about an independent woman. Like she said before, I make a, okay. a lot of money doing as. But what I'm asking, what's more care about annoying, that. an independent woman or a woman asking for everything for her survival? What is more okay. annoying to a man? Most men would prefer a girl that and was. Not a pain in the ass that didn't make a lot of money and they could support her to a degree over a girl that sit, sh yells every two seconds, I'm strong and independent, I make a bunch of money, I don't need you. I wouldn't yell that to but my man. That would these make him emasculated. Most of men that are watching can't exactly. even provide what the hell? for exactly. these women. They can't. I wouldn't emasculate my man That's like that. Point, yeah. yeah, we don't emasculate. La ladies, also, he's just uh, saying in a nutshell, mm -hmm. if you want a man to be for you and actually hey, you want hey, to take you seriously, hey, listen, if you're a masculine, he's not going to want to be with you. I'm masculine because I have a good so job and I do for myself. So independence is masculine? No, 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 no. Right, tell your, me. Your actions from then, being in survival mode <laughs> will dictate how you move in a relationship. It, it, it sucks. Yeah. But you being masculine and you being the independent woman that you are today mm -hmm. will affect your relationship in the future. It will. 